Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets, and bring them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, the Mooch, billion-dollar wealth manager Skybridge Capital, plans to launch a Bitcoin fund. And this will be a banned snippet, because I thought it was very interesting that just a little bit ago, they were talking about, eh, we might get into it, and then, of course, here we are. So this will be a little, a little quick read. So what do we got here? So in mid-November, a filing registered with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC, which is actually going to sue uh, Ripple, which people are going to be talking about that all day, but that's another video, had shown that the investment firm Skybridge Capital may invest in crypto. And then what happened? Skybridge Capital filed another registration form with the U.S. SEC as it plans to now launch a Bitcoin fund, which was just done yesterday. So it's crazy times. The Wealth Management Fund run by Anthony Scaramucci or the Mooch. You may remember him. He is the communications director at the White House. Had a little short stint there and uh, didn't work out so hot. But yeah, he's. Uh, I think he's in a, in a much better place right now, especially going into cryptocurrency digital assets. Anyhow, Skybridge Capital is launching a Bitcoin fund called the Skybridge Bitcoin Fund LP. That's kind of original. The New York-based company manages over 9 billion assets under management, and the filing shows it wants to manage a Bitcoin fund for accredited investors. What are accredited investors? Well, it depends on you know where you're at, but usually in the United States, we're looking at people who make $200,000 or more or who have value of $200,000 or more. So there's that part. And then also these accredited investors, uh, they need to purchase 50K or more, $50,000 worth of Bitcoin or more to be allowed into the fund. And I'm sure there's going to be a premium just like Grayscale has a massive premium right now, which if you don't know, uh, the Grayscale premium is up to 40%. And I gotta tell you, they did a smart thing. They actually closed the doors to their trust. I mean, they'll open them up uh, later on, but we do this all the time in marketing. We like, we'll, we'll close down our, our membership sites for a little bit and go, oh, sorry, we got too many people. And it just builds demand. And then people are like, oh, we really want it. And then they come in and then of course, you know, we charge a little bit more, but it's, just, it's the same thing here, I believe. And uh, of course, I think this premium is only gonna go up. So I think this is a very smart play by the Mooch and the, and the people that he works with, because they're like, hey, we're gonna get into this and, uh, you know, see how it goes. Because remember, these premiums, uh, that's where all the money's at. I, I mean, on top of the Bitcoin uh, price, of course, will go up. And now, Skybridge Bitcoin Fund will follow Rule 506C that allows a solicitation and general advertisement of the offering to accredited investors. I wonder how that works with like social media. If they're able to use uh, uh, Google AdWords and uh, Facebook and all those things to to advertise to people. Because I mean, on Facebook, if you never advertise on Facebook, it's super simple. Like I can target people who make 100,000 or more that live in Dubuque, Iowa, and are you know single moms or something. It doesn't matter. Like you can do a lot of things. So I wonder if they're actually able to do that. That would be like the way to do it in my opinion. But I'm sure these guys got, they, they know a lot of rich people. So that's it. Anyhow, uh, Scaramucci had said in an interview that he's a fan of crypto and believes that digital assets have a future. I happen to agree with him. He states this, blockchain is going to get tighter and more reformed and more secure. He added, people are going to have more confidence in it and I don't think it can be stopped. And usually it's at this point where I start to talk about Fidelity Digital Assets and TD Ameritrade and Paul Tudor Jones and Druck, Drucken Miller. Um, but I'll just, I'm just gonna show you what I do. Um, I have a little folder here and I have it under Trinity Institutions. And these are all the different stories I've ever done about various institutions that are getting into crypto. And in the beginning of this year, it was very slim. There's only like, you know, two or three or so in there. And now you can just kind of see it. Here's Fidelity. Here's Jefferies, which we just talked about, multi-billion dollar company. Mass Mutual getting 100 million. Uh, this is the one, Skybridge Capital. All the public companies, the Grayscale, the reports, the Druckenmillers, and Millers, the Paul Tudor Jones, and the Square. I mean, everything that, that we've already talked about, I keep it right here for reference. And uh, it's just getting so long of all the different people that are getting into it. I'm just like, man, there's just so many people. And I just, it's it's not even a possibility that uh, crypto goes away. I think it's definitely here to stay and it's gonna be massive. 2021 is gonna be a big year. There's one thing I'd like to point out though. And that is that a lot of these companies are getting into Bitcoin only. So if you think that there's always, there, I think there's gonna be an alt season, but I think with the institutions who really are kind of slow to the game. They they really go for like the big winners first of all, and they they might put some money into altcoin. But I think that 
Bitcoin will be much more stable moving forward because of the money the institutions put in, because of the treasuries like the micro strategies and the mass mutuals. They're going to leave it in there for a while. So you're going to see the price go up. Hopefully it'll skyrocket up, but it'll go up. But we won't see like the massive dips, I don't think. However, with the altcoins, there's going to be an altcoin season at some point because everybody's going to FOMO in. But I think there's going to be more volatility in that area, which is great for traders. And it's great for people who are just looking for that, those low-cost gems. But uh, that is how I see it. Anyhow, that's it for the Dan Snippet. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget, uh, later today we'll do a much more in-depth video where we need to give away $200 worth of Bitcoin brought to us by Unstoppable Domain. So uh, check that out later today. And uh, that is it for now. I will see you later in the day.